Catch the vibe. It's the end of March, and I've just been looking at a bunch of my reels, uh, trying to figure out which ones need new line and and that sort of thing. And it got me thinking. I wanted to share something with you guys, a little fishing hack, if you will, uh, that I've been using the last couple of years to keep track of my reels. Because I have something like 15 trolling reels for Lake Michigan, another 35 spinning reels for panfish, walleye, bass, and somewhere on the order of 20 casting reels, and 10 of those are musky reels. So it's a lot of reels to try to keep track of. And the one thing I kept running into was I maybe only pan fish a couple times a year. So I don't need to change my line every year. It sits in the basement. It's not sitting in the sun. So that monofilament, I mean, it's, it's good for a little while, other than a little bit of memory, but I'm okay with that. Problem was I couldn't tell if some of the line was a year old, two years old, three years old. And with that many reels, it's just too expensive to completely strip everything and put new line on everything. So what I decided to do is keep a log book of all my reels. And it sounds a little bit nerdy, but hey, I work in a lab, so what do you expect? So what I did is I got myself a, this is a lab notebook, and I've got little tabs down the side for trolling reels, for spinning reels, for casting reels. And what I did is gave every reel sort of a serial number, a really short one, just something that I could identify each reel because I have multiples of, of some of these reels. And where it really comes in handy is with spinning reels because you've got multiple spools for some of these. You know, one spool is maybe Power Pro or some sort of braided line, one spool is monofilament. So there's just a ton to keep track of. So what I found is keeping track of them in a vlog book like this is really handy um, and, and the way I, I marked all the reels is I took a little metal engraver it's about 10 or 20 bucks on Amazon and you can actually put you know whatever you want to on it I think I put like the initials of the reels like for a Stratic I put ST-1, 2, 3 however many I had and uh, that way you can not only keep track of what line you've put on how long it's been on there you can write down how much line you put on there. If you've got backing, you can leave the backing on and you know how much line will go on top, which is really kind of cool with some of the braided line because if you know you've got 150 yards on one and 150 yards on another, you can buy a 300 yard spool, split it in half, put it right on there and, and not have to worry about anything. Um, the other cool thing where it comes in handy is if you do any maintenance on your reels, you can kind of keep track of that too. So like I said, Maybe a little bit nerdy, but it's a cool way to keep track of, of all your reels, especially if you've got a ton of them. And uh, boy, I, I hope that helps out. I hope it uh, uh, isn't uh, too off the wall for you guys, but uh, that's what I do and it works out for me. So I'm gonna take care of these reels here. Um, leave us some comments in the comments section, uh, what you think about the videos and uh, keep on watching Catch the Vibe and we'll keep on bringing you good content.